Four-time Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton has again reiterated that retirement may not be that far away. Hamilton is out of contract at the end of 2018, with a new three-year deal said to be a formality, but he's questioning his involvement beyond that. I could probably stay till I'm 40 if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I could stay one or two more years, but will I, in two, two more years' time, will I still have the excitement that I have now going to another season? I really can't tell you. The Brits' comments refute those from Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff, who recently said Hamilton had the talent to go beyond his next contract. The 33-year-old, though, doesn't want to set a date just yet. Every time you get to the end, end of the season, you're kind of like, geez, I don't want to race anymore. Like, you don't want to go. Uh, you, you're done with your year. You, you know, you're kind of, I can't wait for my holiday break. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't want to stop early. American team Haas continues to be the talk of the paddock, with its pace in preseason testing likely putting it at the head of the midfield. Kevin Magnussen set the sixth fastest time overall, his 118.360, just over 1.1 seconds shy of Sebastian Vettel's best, but set on the harder super soft tires, around 1.3 seconds per lap slower than the hyper softs. Tire corrected, that puts Magnussen ahead of both of the Ferraris, but the difference doesn't take into account important variables like fuel loads and when in the run program the lap was set. Regardless, Haas team principal Gunter Steiner is sure that fourth, as the best of the rest this year, is achievable, which would be a huge jump from eighth, where it finished at the end of 2017. We've worked hard and we made progress. Let's see in Australia what it brings us, but I think it's a good target to have, he said. F1's governing body, the FIA, is struggling to recruit a deputy race director in time for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix, following news last week that Laurent McKee has been recruited by Ferrari. It's the second time in six months that key FIA personnel have been poached by teams, with former technical chief Marcin Bukowski recruited by Renault in October 2017. Both hires created a furor, with the FIA's gardening leave period just three months, and Budkowski and McKee having access to sensitive technical information that could give them an advantage in new roles. While McKee's September start date with Ferrari broke a gentleman's agreement by the teams to wait 12 months for former FIA and F1 group employees. Ferrari went against the gentleman's agreement, and the FIA has not enforced it, said McLaren Racing Director Eric Boullier. The Australian Grand Prix organizers have revealed the first wave of grid kids, who are set to replace grid girls at this weekend's event. Forty children from around Australia have been selected to mark the F1 grid on Sunday, with all of them young racers of varying ages. Yeah, they've uh, been drawn from the ranks of karting and also junior motorsport through CAMS, the Confederation of Australian Motorsport. It's just a fantastic moment for them. I know their heroes are Daniel Ricciardo, Sebastian Vettel, Lewis Hamilton and the like, and they're just so excited to be here. And while F1's ban on grid girls from this year has been contentious, with some fans lamenting the move, the enthusiasm shown by those replacing them proves how worthwhile overall the change is. When I heard about this, I felt I felt really excited, and um, I then a few weeks later I got an email saying, "Dear Lewis, you've been a part of the 2018 Australian Rolex Grand Prix, and I'm so happy." Albert Park is a hive of activity this week, following the arrival from Europe not only of air freight, including the cars, but also the team personnel, who unpack and prepare the garages in preparation for the weekend. But even those are not the first international arrivals at the track, with F1 Sea Freight dropping into the precinct one week earlier, having left the UK in early January to make the end of March deadline. Every team has five sets of sea freight, each a single shipping container, 
with Mercedes able to fit into it 40 boxes of all different shapes and sizes, with the combined weight making air freight prohibitive. Uh, about 23 tonnes. All in. Included is a range of basic and heavy equipment like garage panelling, cleaning equipment and components that aren't performance critical, with the five sea freight containers constantly on the move. Australia will actually do two races this time, and it'll go straight to Canada. But generally speaking, it will come back home again. All be restocked, turned around, serviced, and then back out to the next race. TheInsideLine.com, for everything Formula One.